Hello, hope you are well. My name is Frank and welcome back to my channel. It is a pleasure to have you here with me today. And listen, if any of you lovely Russian ladies need to relocate for some unusual reason, hey, I know a guy in New York. Listen, he's not nine feet tall, but he's pretty good looking. He's hilarious and has the biggest brain on YouTube because I'm gonna show you guys today what I would consider basically a really good template and I've said this in the past with certain meals, but this one's a little bit different. I guess not really. Anyway, let me show you guys what's going on, starting with my rice that we made this morning. For the rice, I use just any organic brown rice, long grain, basmati, short grain, whatever it is. I don't like the sprouted, honestly, just because it tastes horrible and sprouting actually uh, makes it a bit harder on your stomach. We have some of the land salt from Frankie's Strange Meat. This is very potent, so don't add as much as you would a regular salt. We have some of our collagen broth as well, and then some Mountain Valley Spring Water, which has actually a pretty decent amount of minerals, but it's not too high in calcium, which is the main thing to pay attention to. So with the brown rice, I'm able to eyeball this, and it turns out good every time. That's not really the case with the white rice, so just keep that in mind. So about half an inch of rice on the bottom, light sprinkle of salt, pop our collagen jelly in here and maybe half a bottle of the water. So this I do rice, more cooking, low pressure, turn off, keep warm. So after about an hour and a half, two hours, the gas will have naturally dissipated and it should be completely cooked. So don't expect this to be ready in like 20, 30 minutes. So whenever I decide to eat, which is usually several hours after the rice is finished, it always looks good, but you know, there's some like dark residue from the imperfections and the dirt and the rice. So I usually scrape the top layer off and I'll throw that out. And we didn't add fat to this rice, but what I've been doing lately is I'll take maybe two tablespoons of my garlic oil, which is just liquid coconut oil with caramelized garlic in it, and I'll mix it up. So that's our rice. The main carbohydrate component of the meal is ready. Over here we have some organic cauliflower just chopped up. To the pan I'm gonna add some glass bottled mineral water, a sprinkle of the land salt from Frankie's Free Range Meat, as well as Frankie's Free Range Foods. For our meat, I've kind of been bullied out of the rest of the fridge by my family, but I do have some measly space down here. Just some tenderloin steaks from Frankie's Free Range Meat, but I do have some leftover roast beef from yesterday that was uh, very delicious, so we're gonna have that. So each of these packages are about half a pound and I've been eating one package per day on average and this almost reminds me of like prosciutto smoked salmon because of the texture and how seasoned it is now if it's later in the day and the rice is cold I'll put it back in a pan on the stove usually more than I can eat because my eyes are bigger than my stomach and I'll season it with a little bit of coconut aminos if you guys aren't familiar with these it's a soy sauce alternative that's much healthier for you. Did you guys know the lid on the Instant Pot goes like this? I forgot where I saw it, but uh, a little bit handy. And I'm not sponsored by these guys, but it's steel on the inside. I think this is silicone in regards to cooking stuff compared to like a regular rice cooker or a slow cooker. This is as non-toxic as it gets. But you guys can correct me if I'm wrong on that. Uh, you guys also probably noticed we got a new fry pan here. I bought a set for my family, although hopefully they don't ruin them. Uh, this is green pan and apparently it's slightly better non-toxic non-stick pans than the rest of the brands. I'll put this on my Amazon store, but uh, you guys can let me know if there's like something known about this company or something in it that's still not good. I actually bought those pans because I was making pancakes and certain things that stuck really, really easily. And since, you know, my family always washes like my stainless steel, carbon steel and cast iron in the sink like they're not supposed to, I didn't really have a reliable pan. Uh, so again, I'll put that on the Amazon store as much as I'm against Amazon. You know, Amazon's actually getting investigated by the Department of Justice, which I'll do a video on for reasons I've actually predicted in past videos. Anyway, um, our meal is basically all ready. The cauliflower just has to steam a little bit. And the nice thing about this is that's rice for three or four meals. That's cauliflower for two or three meals. So, you know, I don't have to cook as much. We do have dessert ready, which is normally an apple with walnut butter. If I'm super hungry, 
I did bring the cookies back, guys. So if you guys missed uh, my cookie recipe, I think the title of the video was Vegan Cookies. And the only difference to the recipe now is that I add walnut butter or some type of nut butter instead of uh, coconut oil. And I use more coconut milk as well, just higher mineral content overall and tastes better. We got our water kefir grains on the table with some charcoal and masticum. So I have two apple lemon water kefirs here. One is probably two or three weeks old at this point and it's been loose in my garage so the gas escapes and it doesn't build up. This I brought home from Frankie's free range meat earlier. It's actually only two days old and I put the cap tight when I went to bring it home earlier which is about eight hours ago. So when I release the gas, what happens is the bacteria and the yeast at the bottom release more gas because there's not enough space in the bottle for all the gas to be released. If this was less full, maybe, but I just release the gas slowly. It comes out and usually to the point where it will just start shooting out. So the solution to that is if it's not too volatile, you can just open it up and you know, as it's about to kind of like overflow, you can just pour it into a glass. So nice and carbonated. But if you guys order this, it's gonna be sealed for like two, three, maybe even four days in the postal service. So open this, you know, outside, point it away from you and uh, hopefully it's not too carbonated by the time you guys get it. Dinner is served, ladies and gentlemen. And if I knew all this 10 years ago, I might not have so many health problems. So we have the lean roast beef. Top round is literally like the leanest cut on the animal and animal fat especially can be pretty hard on the liver. Uh, so we have ample B vitamins, amino acids, animal protein, cholesterol, everything we need to maintain so many metabolic functions in the body. The brown rice compared to white rice, higher in minerals, higher in fiber, better for gut motility. And you know, it doesn't really taste any worse. If, if you get a decent quality brown rice, we put a little bit of uh, garlic oil and coconut aminos for flavor. And the oil is also for some more calories. And then we have the cauliflower, which is just more fiber, more gut motility. And when you have bad stuff in your liver and your liver needs to detox, it soaks into fiber as well as carbohydrates, but you need the fiber mainly to push all of that out. So if you're having any health problems and you don't have any fiber in your diet, that might be one of the big issues. So here we have some water kefir grains as well as water kefir, the two best probiotics that exist, a very broad spectrum of bacteria and yeast that will repopulate your gut, help you digest food. It's very high in B vitamins. I'm tempted to get some nutritional testing on all of this stuff because no one's done it, but I don't, I don't have $10,000 lying around exactly. Some of you guys asked me a lot, hey Frank, is it okay to drink water kefir with liver damage? You know, it's alcoholic. How are you doing that every day? The grains and the bacteria in it help metabolize the alcohol and the benefits of having a healthy gut microbiome and bacteria far outweigh the negatives of the alcohol. So if someone tries to make an argument, hey, it's better to have this meal without the water kefir because it's alcoholic, but it, you can't because if you have an unhealthy gut, candida is going to overgrow, toxins are going to sit there. You're going to have way more damage and stress on your digestive organs than what alcohol is going to do. Uh, we have the masticum, anti-H pylori, helps keep the food out of the stomach. And usually at night I'll have one or two activated charcoal capsules because the fiber and the starch is absorbing the toxins, but to prevent them from being reabsorbed as they go through your small intestine, the charcoal helps prevent that. We got some roast beef. So I'm actually mixing my uncarbonated and carbonated water kefir because even if it's 
just a little carbonated, it, it really does taste so much better. What's a little weird is the collagen broth doesn't actually add much flavor to the rice. It's really just like pure collagen and amino acid. So don't expect this like super beef broth flavor. It's pretty plain. Another big thing is naturally made alcohol is very rich in B vitamins. So when you have like a distilled liquor, vodka, rum, tequila, bourbon, whatever it is, those are much higher in alcohol and don't really have the B vitamins. So when you see groups of people, Italians drinking wine, Germans drinking beer, you know, they're not dropping dead from liver failure. They live to 80, 90, 100 years old in pretty good health. So this meal being very rich in B vitamins is incredibly important for liver health. The lean meat, the collagen broth, the water kefir, probably higher in B vitamins than eating a meal of pure meat. Maybe not, but the point is, it's just as high in B vitamins and you don't have all of that added stress of dietary protein. And I've said it in the past, but protein is very hard to digest because your gut bacteria doesn't really eat protein. So you need to produce the enzymes, you know, the pepsin in the stomach, the trypsin and the chymotrypsin in the small intestine, and your body has a pretty limited ability to do that. Most of you guys know the deal. Halfway through the meal, we're gonna have some water key for grains as well as some masticum. So this is a more complex probiotic culture. Uh, so when you have the water kefir, you're getting a nice dose of bacteria, but this is much, much higher, more concentrated. Then the masticum. Did you guys see the Boar's Head commercial for dark chocolate hummus? Like, is that not the worst business idea ever? Boar's Head, deli meat company, hummus, which is normally like a health food, but they're making a chocolate? Like, what is it? Like, chickpeas and chocolate? Like, come on, hi hire me. I'll tell you not to do stupid shit like that, and I'll come up with a decent product idea. And this water keeper is so good, I would probably pay $20 a bottle for it if I wasn't making it myself. So my eyes are only a little bit bigger than my stomach. This meal, we have a little bit of roast beef left and I ate maybe 70% of the rice. But this is my second meal of the day and I kind of pigged out on a cheat meal earlier, which I might show you guys, but I've been pretty inconsistent. If I was eating like this every single meal, I'd probably be feeling a lot better and maybe looking a little bit better too. But it's tough because you know some, I don't always have time to prep everything and I get hungry. So like, if I just eat this and then I have an apple and walnut butter, I'll be hungry like an hour later. Now, just to be clear, I'm like stuffed full right now. Like I can't eat dessert if I wanted to. So I'm not going to have it right now, but maybe in an hour or two, I'm going to come down and have an apple with walnut butter or some cookies. But you know, that's the real downside of bodybuilding and achieving an unnaturally high muscle mass. Like I'm not that big. You know, I weigh maybe 160, 165 pounds now, but uh, naturally I'm supposed to probably be, you know, skinnier, like 130, 135. And the amount of tissue on me, if I was 30 pounds lighter, would be much easier to maintain via diet. But <clears throat> that's whatever. So I kind of have to eat more than my stomach allows to. But uh, I'm feeling better in general despite needing a permanent vacation. So thank you guys for joining me today. Uh, you can go to frank to check out all of my businesses. We have the water key for water key for grains on Frankie's syringe foods.com. We should have roast beef in stock on Frankie's syringe meat.com. Maybe I'll do a supplement update relatively soon, but that's been a little sporadic as well. Outside of that, you guys can drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week and be sure to check that notification bell so that YouTube doesn't notify you of my videos. As I said earlier, if there are any lovely Russian, Ukrainian ladies, preferably over 5'10", that maybe would like a little trip to New York, please, you know, my emails on my YouTube channel, you guys can reach out to me. I'm fucking losing my mind.